Hey guys, Peter Hurley here, and I'm out at the Westcott headquarters in Ohio, and I am shooting today, which is awesome. And I've got a lovely woman in front of my camera that's gonna be in front of my camera named Kirsten, and she is just incredible. So what I'm gonna be working on today is not only lighting her really well, but trying to capture some interesting expressions with her. I mean, she's from New York and she is a actor and I need a range of expressions. I shoot, I've shoot. i been shooting actors for years and years and years and my thing is when you get them in front of the camera, it's just because they're acting in film, that is a lot different than being in, a, in front of a still camera. They're static, there's no movement, there's nothing going on. So chances are people with their face, they do not know what to do. So we're gonna work on expression today. I'm gonna coach her towards expression and I'm gonna work on the chilling her out in front of the camera, getting her as natural as possible. The number one question I get as a photographer is, how do you relax your subject? Isn't that what we all wanna know? For me, it's about making them forget about the camera in any way, shape or form, however I have to do that, whether I have to be silly or say dumb things or say things that are confusing or do confusing things with them, whatever it is, to make them forget about the camera, think about what we're actually doing and then just tone it down so they have a good time. Once they get rolling and you get some real wonderful, real laughter. So I'm gonna do some things to create real spontaneity in the shoot, which creates real laughter, which guess what? When we laugh, our face changes. So if somebody's very static in front of the camera and they're not moving their face and you make them laugh, their face changes. It also creates tension in the face. Guess what happens? The only thing that can happen when a laughter, when laughter stops is relaxation. You just had tension because you <laughs> laughed, your whole face got tense, relax. So usually after the laughter, I get the best shots. I get the most relaxed shots, the most interesting looking shots, and the people behaving like themselves. So you're gonna see some of that today as I work with her. Meanwhile, while I'm doing that, I'm working on angles of her face, and obviously trying to make sure the light looks as beautiful as possible so I can capture every nuance that comes up. For today's shoot, I wanna go over my gear list with you. So I've got my flex lights. I love these lights. I help design these lights. These are amazing lights. I've got them on yokes into the stands. And I've also got at the base of the stand, a little product that I designed called the H2 Pro Bag from Westcott and Hurley Pro. So that creates ballast so that I can do some things with it. I've got one of my lights out on a boom. I wanna make sure it doesn't fall over. I've also got a new product from Westcott called Hurley Pro Pro Board that I developed with them and I have the ballast on those stands as well to make sure the board does not go flying over or anything like that but it allows me a really clean solid white background when I hit it with a strobe and I also like to shoot a gray background too so I'll let the continuous light fall off and make that, that board a really nice uh, shade of gray. So I just had an amazing shoot with Kirsten and you could see the emotions flying and all the, all the facial reactions we got and the laughter and the angles and everything. And she worked really well with me. We changed her a bunch of times uh, to give her a variety of looks. And then I have one kind of little rule that I try and stick to. If somebody comes to my studio with a significant other or a relative or anything of that nature, it's worth it just to get them in front of your lights for two minutes. So Kirsten drove from Staten Island to Ohio to sh do this shoot today with her father, Keith, and I decided I'm not leaving this shoot before I get them together in front of the camera. And I think those pictures will have the most powerful impact years from now. So I always like doing it. It made me emotional to see them together and to get the images that I got, which I loved. And then I was like, all right, Keith, you're not off the hook. Not only did I get beautiful shots of you with your daughter, I wanna get a badass shot of you. So I put them in there and I brought my lights down. So I went with the one by three and I went with one light at first to light his face. He's a rough looking guy. I wanted to make him look like a tough dude. And, uh, and then I added a little kick with the one by two at the end and you can see those results are just amazing. He should bang the crap out of it. Thanks for watching guys. Definitely subscribe to the Westcott channel. Subscribe below, get it done. Stop fooling around.